I think one of the most important stories about national security is our service members returning home from 10 years of war, either in Iraq or Afghanistan. We have a million vets, men and women, who have fought in these wars in the last 10 years. We have to think about our obligations to the people who are willing to protect us, but we seem to forget that we have this many returning service members, and we do so at our own peril. It's not simply a heartstrings issue. Their unemployment rate is double what it is for civilians. We tend to think of these veterans, in many cases, as having mental disorders or physical disabilities. The truth is they're suffering in many respects economically as well. I have spent a lot of time with veterans. I know how difficult it is for them to re-enter civilian life. For example, when you think about them trying to get a job, they've been trained in the military, which is very focused on us, so they don't know how to sell themselves. They often speak in a military language that is not familiar to most civilians. So to me, the challenge in the years to come is not simply the services that we should provide them, the health services and the mental services, but also how do we reintegrate them and give them the skills that they need to become part of American society. And because we have an all-volunteer military, this actually has a very important national security impact. We expect and hope that people will join the military, that they will fight our wars for us, they will protect our security, they will do really hard things that most of us don't want to do. And they do that because they believe in contributing and volunteering for America's security. And they believe that the military and the United States will take care of them. But if we create a generation of service members who don't believe that anymore, we will destabilize, I think, our capability to lure the best people into the military and to tell them, if you serve America, we will serve you when you return. And I think that's something that we should focus on, not only because it's the right thing to do, but because we are a nation that is dependent on people believing that the military is a place that takes care of them. And if we've lost that, it's going to impact our capabilities in the future.